All right, so today I'm up at Mine Pond, which is across from where the mill used to be in Steamville. There's some stuff up here left from the Americans back in the day, back in the 50s, 60s, around here. And we're gonna go check it out. I have my father with me today, and he's coming along for a ride to check it out too. Behind me is an old tanker. And this is the first building we're going to check out right behind me. All right, so there's half a dozen of these big tanks up here. And now we're going to walk down to this building. Not sure what it was used for, but the Americans used it for something back in the day. You used to be able to get in through the side door here. But it's been locked again. People keep breaking into it. And can't really see anything through this hole here, but that's the inside. Yep. And this is runoff from Mine Pond, which we're going to go up to there in a few minutes now. Let's see if I get a bit of footage from around this side. Oh yeah, it's just called concrete there. The water used to go in underneath it and inside this building. So what it was used for, I have no idea, but I'm sure someone out there does. There's been a cat going across the water here. Luckily he never fell in. Might as well walk around this while I'm here. But stuff used to get loaded up through that door apparently. And whatever was brought in there was floated in from the pond, I guess. Or dumped off in the pond, one or the other. It's too bad that it's locked up, but I'm sure it'll be unlocked again someday and I'll get a video of the inside. So on to the storage bunkers from here, I guess. Alright, this is just a little ways down from that building. Here's the first side of Mine Pond. It's actually a really beautiful place in the summertime. Come down here quite a bit to have fires and that. There's two or three islands over that way. I be, should be able to get video footage of them from the other side when I get over there. Okay, we're at the other side of the pond. And this is what it looks like from this angle. There's one island, there's another one, and there's a couple up in the back there. And we'll go over to this little man-made waterfall here. I'm not sure how long it's been here. I don't know if the Americans built it or not, but it is in pretty good shape. And it's pretty cool. A lot easier to get to this time of year because when the leaves are on the trees you can't even see this in there. Well, here this is. If the Americans did build this, they did quite the job on it for it still to be standing there. Huh? No? Yeah, it's been here a long time. Let's see if I can get a close up of the little waterfall here. Since I'm here. And that's all wood besides. Amazing the shape it's still in. Just run off from the pond itself. Ok, 
Okay, that's the waterfall we were just at. That road is a dead end. I've been in there before. It goes towards Knowles Pond, but there's a trenched off about a half a kilometer in. And this is something else that the Americans made. Underneath this big rock, there's a manhole. And before this rock was put there, I open up the manhole and there is a ladder going down into it with a tunnel. I haven't went in because there's a lot of water in there, but I've been told this tunnel goes towards Stephenville. Because right now we are across from the old, where the mill used to be in Stephenville by Indian Head. So from here we're going to go into the abandoned storage bunkers which is just on that road there to the left. Okay, so we are into the storage bunkers here. Apparently these were used for storing ammunition and stuff when the Americans were here. They built it. And it was made a little ways out of Stephenville in case of there was an attack that this would have been safe. So I'm gonna get out of the car there now and take a walk around. There's really not much left in them, but I'll go through it anyway. All right, I'm gonna start right at the end. And as you can see, these were very thick walls and very well built. I guess it was built very well though, considering, you know, World War II and everything. They're all pretty well the same as these, but I'll go through them anyway. How much of these guys have maybe done? A lot of stuff. This one don't really open, so I'll just squeeze in, but yeah, it's empty. And there's been people dropping off their parts up here too. Scrap and junk and that. I mean, these are still in really good shape. I mean, they could still be used, but it's just wasting away out here, which is a sin, you know. Even these doors are massive, like, that's all metal. Built really good, really good. Place, place to work on vehicles. <laughs> yeah, you definitely could work on vehicles in here if you want it. But good structures. There is a couple that's in a little rough shape, but I mean. Overall, it's amazing the shape they're in. And that's the boiler room there. I'll be able to get to this from the other side. Bit of graffiti in them too, but you gotta expect that, huh? Yeah, it's a shame that they're not used anymore. This one got some insulation on the outside wall, really old stuff. I'm guessing that's what it was, some kind of insulation of some sort. Yeah, just really old stuff. And this is the end one, so we'll walk around to the other side now. Bit of graffiti on this side. This one's fairly new. I don't remember seeing this one last time I was up here. That's a good job on that, yeah. Half a sheet of plywood there. That's about $150 worth. someone dropped off their household stuff or was someone actually living in this one <laughs> you never know it is an insulated one so it's possible I suppose
This will probably be still here for another hundred years. I can't get over it. It's like these walls are not are huge. No, no, this is built to last, that's for sure. Should be getting close to the boiler room now. Yeah, here's the boiler room. Yeah, well, this heating system, I would imagine, did go through the whole building somehow. Probably looks like up through the ceiling, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's a big old boiler. love to be able to find some pictures of this when it was up in operation. Just to see what it looked like back when it was new. That one is shut, it's not locked. We tried to pry it open one day and I ended up pinching my fingers, so I'm gonna stay away from that one. Maybe if I had a pry bar or something, I'd get into it. Oh yeah, someone's been dumping off a bit of stuff here. I don't know what that is, but it looks old. Could be part of a ringer washer or something, I suppose. Uh, then again, it got cables on it, so it's probably not that old. Hmm. Been a lot of people dropping off their garbage here too. Yeah, I think I've seen a few of them with leaks in the ceiling, but it was nothing major. Condition tires here. Yeah. It's mint if you squint. Some of the stuff I better not uh, take pictures of because I gotta go on YouTube. And here's the last one on the other side. There was a bunch of tires in here that weren't in bad shape. I guess someone needed them because they're gone. Yeah, it's just a dump site now. It's a shame. And there is loose garbage around here everywhere too. And that road, in case anybody's wondering, is a dead end. It just goes up into the alders and stops. I've already checked it out. And uh, that's about it for around here. Yeah, I think they got evicted. Yeah. <laughs> yes, there is a beaver dam in there too, yeah. It might be hard to see for the trees, but... Right there. There's a little 
brook runner through there. Cool. That's the road we came in on. So yeah, this is a really cool building. It's massive.